Good morning from a very cold Cape Town. My name is Alex Latimer and I'm a picture book writer and illustrator. Um, my latest book is called The Trouble with Earth and it's out now. Uh, the book lounge has copies of it and I'm just going to show you a little bit about what goes on inside. The Trouble with Earth. Every year the planets take a well-deserved midsummer break to read and swim and tan all day out somewhere in the Milky Way. Now at last the day had come to stop their orbit round the sun, and so the planets waved goodbye to their homes up in the sky. They met on time at eight o'clock on the corner of their block, then stood and waited in a line. The bus arrived at 809. Jupiter, Venus, Mars, that's me, Uranus, check, and Mercury. Neptune's here, and Saturn too. Step right up and go on through. Now is there any one I've missed? Me, said Earth, please check your list. Mars checked. Nope, your name's not here, but I can write it in. Next year. And then the planets closed the door. There's no space, they said, for any more. Hang on, called Earth, don't go, just wait. I'm sure there's room in there for eight. When Earth got home, she stroked her moon, who was glad to have her back so soon. My friends were really mean, she sighed, and then she sat alone and cried. At last, Earth stopped to wipe her face. Maybe there really was no space. No, Earth knew something wasn't right, so she packed her car and drove all night. She headed west and drove for hours through asteroids and meteor showers. And there beyond the brightest star, Earth made a space to park her car. She found eight planets in the tub. Pluto had since joined the club. She heard them laugh, she heard them whoop. She saw Saturn with her hula hoop. Earth's eyes were wet, her heart was sore. Why don't you like me anymore? We're sorry, Earth, forgive us, please, but it looks to us like you have fleas. We're worried what you have is catching. We know you itch, we've seen you scratching. Earth stood still as it sank in, then slowly she began to grin. Fleas, she laughed until she shook. Come close, she said, and take a look. The planets shrugged and gathered near to peer into Earth's atmosphere, and they saw... Dolphins and enormous whales and fish with wings and fish with sails. Flocks of birds high in the air and bugs that flitted everywhere. And below the bugs and below the birds were wildebeest and endless herds, grasses, flowers, redwood trees, and jungles full of chimpanzees. Lions, zebras, kangaroos, right down to frogs and pygmy shrews. Then smaller still, the ants and bees, and yes, down there they saw some fleas. It's true, said Earth, I am infested, just as Mars here has suggested. And it's not just fleas, there's so much more, from mountain top to ocean floor. I love each creature, plant and bug, each human tree and tiny slug. But don't be worried, don't be stressed, let me put your minds at rest. You can't catch the things I've got. You're too cold and you're too hot. You're too small. Your days are long. Your gravity is much too strong. You're made of gas, you're made of ice, and Mars, you just aren't very nice. You have to be just right, you see, and that is why there's life on me. Now we're jealous, said the planets. We want fish and buck and gannets. We want grasses, we want trees. We'd love to have some chimpanzees. You can't have those, I'm sad to say, but you can visit night or day. I have biscuits, cakes and teas. Do come round and see my fleas. And I will tell you all about the life cycle of the rainbow trout and what a warthog likes the best and where to find a weaver's nest. And if you really want to know things that happened long ago, the story of the giant sloth and what might eat a poison moth and when to spot a giant squid and what those silly monkeys did, and how a porcupine gives birth. Oh, how I love my life, said Earth. The next year, for their summer break, 
They didn't make the same mistake. Earth, said Mars, I must insist that you are first upon my list. They drove west for many hours, past comets, stars, and meteor showers, to read and swim and tan all day, out somewhere in the Milky Way. Thanks for watching and I hope you can get down to the book lounge and get yourself a copy of The Trouble with Earth.